everyone. How are we all doing? Good evening. Good evening. How is everyone doing on this beautiful day? I hope everyone's feeling good. Hope you're feeling you had a, an amazing day wherever you are. I'm super excited to be here. And if this is your first time joining me, I'm going to give just a couple, just a, a minute or so for people to come on in the room. Just want to make sure that we can see you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're catching the replay this evening, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you hashtag replay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are on the live, let me introduce myself if you do not uh, know me. So my name is Tanisha Portier, and I am super excited to be here. I have been doing the 14 Days of Love series. And so if you have not had a chance to actually register for this um, event, basically I'm going live for 14 days. We're on day three now. And you have the opportunity to actually download my 14 days of self-love guided um, workbook. So it goes through everything that we've kind of been talking about over the these over the past 14 days that we're going to be talking, and it also has some activities and exercises in there, and you got some bonuses. So I know that you're going to be super excited about that. Make sure that you download your copy. All you have to do, um, I'll post that link in there so you'll be able to see that. Um, and then if you've seen all my previous videos, all you have to do is just put your email address in there and then you are set. Okay. I'm going to make sure that you get that and it's free. The nice thing is it's free and it's over like 20 pages of amazing information to help you towards your guided self-love journey. Okay. So yes, let's get to it. All right. Share this message out and please go ahead and share it out. And um, let's just kind of recap a little bit about what we talked about yesterday. So yesterday we did the three biggest mistakes that we talk about, you know, in self-love. And then the day before that, we talked about what love got to do with it. So if you have not, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on those. So if you have not saw those two episodes, make sure that you go back. All you got to do is scroll back or go to my Tanisha Pretty International page and you will find that information. All right, yo, let's get this party started. Now, if you're here, go ahead and drop a one in the chat just to let me know. Um, I'm gonna be checking the chats in here and um, you know, just to see who's all aboard. And then we're gonna get this started. So this is a really, really interesting topic. Three things that they do not tell you about with self-love affirmations. And if you've ever heard of an affirmation, that's kind of maybe just a sentence or a mantra or something that you say that is positive and uplifting for yourself, right? Well, here's the thing. Here's some secrets that, you know, most people are not telling you about self-love or self-affirmations that is really, really, really going to be very powerful for you to know. So just not the affirmations itself, but I went ahead and I did a little bit of, um, I took it a little bit more and I made some notes because I wanted to make sure that I got everything. And so what, um, what I found was that there are some two um, journals. And so these are scientific journals. So I wanted to bring some data here with you. And this is all about the importance of self-love, of, of loving yourself, of valuing yourself, of trusting yourself, of knowing who you are and the importance of it. So this is just not like a topic or like, you know, Valentine's Day has passed, you know, love yourself. Um, I am love. This is more than that. So that's why we're taking this time to explore the importance of self love. So this, in this study that I found, there was um, actually a, uh, according to a study from the uh, university, let me get my notes here because I want you to know this. Uh, according to a research study from the, um, from the college of the, I believe it's Mellon College University, Car uh, Carnegie Mellon University. Um, you can go ahead and check that out, but it's a scholarly research and it actually found that saying self affirmations actually helps people to get over difficult challenges in life. And so what I found so, so important about this research is that they put two groups, um, you know, two, they had two groups of participants that actually took 
a, a it basically they let them do research on them. And so they had one group that they, you know, kind of discussed about like difficult times, difficult situations in their life. I'm going to sum it up. And then another group that, um, that, you know, were also, you know, having difficult challenges or diff difficult situations. Um, and it might not be word for word, but this is, I'm going to sum it up. So bear with me here. Yes. And so basically what they did is they, um, had one of the, the groups in here, one of the cohorts actually talk about, um, what was the most valuable things in their life? What was valuable, what was personable to them, like for their self-worth, for who they are. And they had them to make a list of activities and just list those out while they had to do difficult tasks and while they had to do stressful situations. And the other cohort, the other group actually just did their tasks and not, you know, didn't do any self-affirmations, didn't say anything, but just were under like a stressful high, um, you know, difficult environment. And the thing was, is that they found that the group that were able to say and, you know, and recite and write down self positive affirmations and self expressions were actually were able to do a lot better than the group that did not have any self affirmations or did not have any self expressions or anything of a value to say about themselves or to a list. And so that I found was very, very interesting and very, very important, you know, for us to for us to learn that self affirmations and everybody's talking about affirmations. I am, I am this and I am that. Well, I want to talk about a little bit about the research behind it because I know a lot of people, you know, are just like, yes, uh, affirmations are really good but sometimes you have those people that are very technical and logical and want to know you know is there any scientific research behind these things and yes there is so go ahead and look at that research study you know on there and then I found another oh my goodness I thought this was really cool too this is another scientific study um, and this was according to a, a, this was an academic journal, right? And so this was a social cognitive effect, um, an effective, um, study, right? It was about neuroscience and they actually use an MRI like, um, like scan and it showed that the people that practice self affirmations actually it's like it it actually showed that it had a it, it would go right to like the reward system in the brain so it like fired up like the po positive neural pathways in their brain and it basically helped them you know it's that's the area like that gives them the change and the positiveness and and things like that so it made them feel happy and more positive when they started to recite and say positive self-love affirmation so I found this was so interesting and that was the one number one secret that they're not telling you about self affirmations is that it's not only something that is important to do, but it's scientifically proven that if you say, if you recite, if you write down, if you say those things that boost your, 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 your mindset, that boost your your thoughts system, that, that say things positive instead of negative about yourself, that is automatically going to help you to get over challenges, over rough times, over hectic situations. Because think about it, everything that's happening in the world today, everything that, you know, the, the different issues and all things that are going on over the world. But if you, if we can take the time out to actually say, you know what, all of this is happening in this 3D world right here, but we can be in the world, but not of the world. And we can recite, we can say positive things. We can take some time out to just say, you know what, all is well in my world. I am safe wherever I go. And we begin to recite those things. Guess what? It begins to activate those neural you know, those neural pathways, that's the area in our brain that makes us feel happy. So it begins to shift our mindset, begins to shift our state. It begins to shift our flow state. So there's a amazing individual and her name is Abraham Hicks. I don't know if you, you should research her. Um, however, she um, is more so on the metaphysical level, but she talks about holding a vibration for 17 seconds. Now, this is a phenomenal thing because what she talks about is if you can think of a positive thought for 17 seconds, think about it, 17 seconds. If you can think of something positive about yourself, everything is well in my world. I am always safe and protected. The universe, I live in a friendly universe. Everybody is here to serve me and I'm here to serve everyone. If we can think on those things for just 17 seconds, guess what? It automatically triggers another 
a thought of a vibration it automatically raises your vibration. It automatically keeps you on a higher level. And then from that 17, you think of another positive affirmation for 17 seconds and then another one and automatically your vibration is raised instantly. So what we what they don't tell us about is that the more we focus on the things that we want and everything else fades away. Everything else that distracts us, all the worldly things that's happening around the world. Yes, we know that, you know, bills need to be paid. Yes, we know that there's there's um, chaos in the streets and we know all these things, but is that where our focus is going to be? Can we put in our mind, there is peace beyond understanding in my mind. I have the mind of Christ. If we can say those affirmations and it is scientifically proven that those who say positive affirmations are able to get over the stress in the day and they also mention that stress is the number one is one of the is one of the number one ways that activates all illnesses sicknesses and disease so if we think about it and if we're thinking on negative thoughts that pull us down and and make us stressed out and all that then we are we are actually vibrating at a lower state however if we think on things that are positive even in a stressful time and we raise our vibration then that changes but the latter is dis-ease, dysfunction, disease, like they're stating in the scientific research here. So that is the number one thing that they're not telling you about self-affirmations, the scientific side of it. You hear it all over the news. You hear it on, 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 on music. You hear it everywhere else. But when you have both worlds telling you, you have the, 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 the holistic world and you're having the, the, the medical uh, or the, um, the, the holistic and yes, in the, the medical side or, you know, telling you, you have the, you know, that and the scholarly part of it, that's phenomenal. That's an amazing thing. So just remember that that is something to hold. If, you know, if anyone ever asks you, you know, like, why are you always saying, you know, positive affirmations or, you know, what is this about? Well, you know what is scientifically proven. And, you know, I just know by, for me, that it changes me and it helps me out. So that's number one. That's more than number one secrets they're not telling you about self-affirmations. And then number two, I want to get to this. This is going to be something that is going to shift your mindset a little bit, but another secret that they're not telling you about self-affirmations is this. Now, listen closely. You may have this positive, radiant mindset where you are able to pick yourself back up after a hard day, after a challenging day, after fussing or, you know, just things. And, and you know, but did you know that everyone and even yourself sometimes actually conflicts with the thought of self-affirmations, especially, especially when there is something new that you have never even told yourself before. So for an example, if you're new to self-affirmations, if you're new to just saying, starting to say positive, speak positivity of your life, speak life into yourself. I'm not just talking about Bible scriptures, but I am. I'm talking about, but just saying the obvious, like I am rich and abundant and good things you all follow me. Miracles on miracles are happening in my life. Every good thing is happening for me now. I only think of the things that I really, really want. I create and manifest my reality. When we start to say things like that, guess what? Our logic, we say them, right? We can read it off in the book. But logically, if we've never, we've, if we've never said that before, our mind goes, Argh! Do we really think that we're rich? Like, do we, do we really think that we're well? Like, do we really think that we can have everything that we say we want do like i know we're saying this but i don't know if you know we really really believe in this and so basically what happens is, is what they're not telling you about self-affirmations is you're not going to believe everything at the first time or the second or the third or the 12th for an example if you're a person that struggles with self-love with loving yourself to the very core to the very core i mean everything about yourself, your flaws and all. If you struggle with that, and I can tell you right now that I could raise my hand and say, yo, I've had a lot of challenges, you know, with growing into who I am and loving myself to the fullest. And 
you know, and for me, for the first time, it was just saying, wow, you know, I love you, Tanisha. I really, really love you. And being able to say that to yourself in, I love myself. I am amazing. I am phenomenal. For the first time, guess what? Those self-affirmations can be very, very challenging. It's like your mind is saying, I, 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 I don't know if I really want to think that way. I don't know if I believe it or you're saying it, but you're not feeling it. But guess what? The thing that they're not telling you about is if you keep saying those things, if you just keep repeating positive self affirmations, if you just keep saying, even when you feel the total opposite, even when you know there's no way in the world that this could be true for you, even when you feel like, wait a minute, now, why am I saying these things? And, and I, you know, there's no evidence in my world about this whatsoever. Like, why, why am I just doing this to myself? Well, guess what? We, when we continue to say those things, we take one step closer, one step closer, one step closer to making it our reality. If we don't believe that we can have and achieve, then guess what? We'll never have it. But if we say those things that are not as though they were, then it will come. Then it will happen. All we have to do is just continue. Remember when we started to learn how to ride a bike or even learn how to walk? We didn't just get up and start running, right? We began to walk and then kind of take a step and, you know, <laughs> fall one side to the other or, you know, have to hold on to a rail and different things like that. And now what? We're walking, we're jogging, we're skipping, we're dancing, we're walking, chewing gum, uh, rubbing the belly, and all kind of stuff. And that's what happens when you say an affirmation. Oh, I am, I am, I'm phenomenal. I'm, everything works out for me. All, all things are in my favor. And when we start to say that, then we get more comfortable and more comfortable and more comfortable. And we have a self-confidence and we have a belief in ourselves that is unshakable, that is undeniable. That is clear because we are in a divine, we are in divine alignment because now we are walking in those affirmations. We are believing, we are feeling, and we are knowing because the feeling of things are the secret. When you can feel, you know, have you ever just said, now close your eyes and just think if you had everything that you wanted, if you could just snap your fingers and be where you wanted to be, have what you wanted to have and go what you wanted, where you wanted to go and do all that. Just think about it and then tell me how you would feel. And then just begin to say, and guess what? Guess what? You can, and, and you, you think about it and you're like, wow, that would be great, right? I could just see it now. I could just feel it. Well, that's the same thing with affirmations. You, even though you say those affirmations because you're calling those things, not as though they were, you're pulling them out of the atmosphere. You're pulling them into your reality. And this is what they're not telling you. The, the method behind, the science behind self-affirmations is so important. It's so imperative to the mindset because this is what's going to change from your situation, your life, your mindset from A to B, from here to there, from where you want to go to where you've always been. And listen, just little by little, step by step, step by step, affirmations, self-affirmations can change your entire life. So that is something. And let me see what other notes that I have on here because I know. Um, oh, yeah. And then, oh, I want to make sure I mention this. And I, and I touched on it just a little bit. But another thing is, is when you start to say, when you start to actually say your self-affirmations, I remember first you're starting off because you don't, you know, maybe you may have a little bit of challenges with these new affirmations or with new, uh, new self-concept, new self-beliefs. And so, you know, you're just trying them out and you ain't even looking in the mirror. You just kind of like write them down on paper. You're just whispering in your head. You're like, God, I, I am uh, divinely uh, guided every day. Uh, God, uh, I am love. I am beautiful. Everybody, um, you know, I am safe wherever I go, whatever you want to say, right? So whatever affirmations that you have that is for the greatest and highest good of yourself and others, you're just saying them to yourself because, you know, your, your logic mind is not there yet. So sometimes the brain wants to keep us safe because it's always like, you're, you ain't, you know, you ain't like you, you ain't like that. But your logic mind is just like, just be who you always have been. It wants to protect you. So when you start to say those affirmations, it, it starts to change those neural pathways. It starts to open up. It still, it makes you happy to think that, but then you, you start to go left and right back and forth. It's just like, 
yeah, but no, I don't know. So when you start to say those things, what happens is you start to get a lot of, a little bit more confidence, a little more confidence, but you have to be very careful to voice those same affirmations that you are working on within yourself to other people because other people don't may not and do not have those same thoughts about you nor perceptions nor do they perceive you in the same way that you are proposing yourself to be and they don't have those same mindsets about you so if you are saying i am rich i am abundant i am prosperous i am yeah, i am divinely got if you're saying these things and someone else and someone hears you saying that they're looking at you like oh she crazy she ain't got look at but look at what she <laughs> did y'all see what she said like <laughs> Y'all, this girl done lost this. She talking about she this, she that, she this. See, you can't throw your knowledge in front of anyone. You can't just start to say, you know, this, this, that. Because it's not that people don't love you. It's not that people don't want to support you or help you. But sometimes their level, their mentality, their train of, their um, mindset has not evolved yet. And so if you start to, to, um, to introduce your new found love of loving yourself through self affirmations and you try to share that with some people that are not ready to evolve then what they're going to do is they're going to either say things that are co contrary to what you are actually starting to believe about yourself or they're going to make you feel in a certain way to to just kind of bring you down so just remember that you have to be mindful in when you start to say your affirmations until you are sternly confident that this is the new you that this is who you are and even when you're not ready just start just start seeing it and just say it to yourself say it in the mirror say it when you're walking, say when you're working out, say when you're driving, say when you're cooking, wonderful affirmations, get five affirmations, write it down in your mirror, write it on your wall, but start saying things that esteem you, that lift you up, that help you. And remember that unless others are ready to evolve and are um, on a, 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 a flow of, you know, of, of positive shifting and, 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 and thinking in a way that is uplifting, then do not share. However, if other people that you know that are in your circle that that are of, of, of the highest good and the highest vibrations then that's when you can share then maybe you both can come up with some affirmations together and say them um, you know about yourselves and things like that but that's something that I really really wanted to press in on that because when you're starting your self affirmations that's the other thing and in this and number two is that you know that logic mind, number two, is that that logic mind will become critical of this new transformed system of thinking. But then also, if you're not careful and you try to reintroduce that in front of others, they can kind of knock that down too. And so when, if you're not strong, if you're not sturdy, if you're not stable in that in that, in that mindset, then, then you could get triggered or, or someone can kind of, um, you know, minimize your 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 uh, your growth and what you're doing so be mindful of that so that was number two so we talked about number one and then we talked about number two so number three this is another secret that they don't tell you about self-love affirmations and i think this is a beautiful one this is this is and this now we're going to connect more with the um, the spiritual side of of um, self affirmations, when we get to a certain level of self love affirmations, and we what they're not telling us is once we begin to say this and 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 really believe and really um, eat sleep breathe these affirmations where we kind of know these affirmations like we know our name like we know. Um, you know, our favorite color, then it automatically opens up a beautiful, wonderful um, journey of a self-awakening where when you truly begin to know that everything about you 
the good, the bad, the ridiculous, and the ugly is all love. It is all love. And you begin, you, you come into a self-awakening, a self-love awakening. And the thing is, is that you know more than anyone else your flaws. Everyone can pull you down. Everyone can, 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 uh, you know, discredit you. Anyone can say, you know, well, who do you think you are? Anyone can bash you, can try to throw you under the bus. Anybody can do it. But you have come to a point in your existence that you love yourself no matter what. Read between the lines. You love yourself no matter what. And you know that everything is here to help you to evolve, to help you to grow, to help you to love yourself more. And it's not just a, oh, I love myself. It's you love yourself from the core. It's like you treat yourself like a newborn baby child. So everything, you, you're more delicate with yourself. You, 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 the, the way you speak to yourself, the way you the way you talk to yourself is 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 a lot you know from when you when you talked about yourself in the past you you know you you know you cussing yourself out mad and you know just all kind of stuff like that now you're more mindful you might get upset you might even oh man da, 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 da. but but guess what you're like wait a minute no i love myself like i really really love myself and you treat yourself in such a way that is kind. You treat yourself in such a way as the person that you're in love, like that you deeply love and cherish. And that self-love awakening triggers a godly love. It triggers a, a, a full, abundant, wholesome love. And now you're not looking for love. You're not chasing love. You're not trying to wonder if someone's going to love you um, if you act this way or if you talk this way. You're not, you don't care what anyone else thinks about you. As long as you have that deep, fulfilled love within you, that trumps everything and anyone that would try to come and disturb your self-love of what you have for yourself. And I want to mention it here because I know this is super important. And and here, when, you, when you're on that self-love awakening, and this is a third point about what they're not telling you. This is a third point and the last point of what they're not telling you about the self-love is the awakening that you experience. And that is that you start to also know that, you know, this epiphany of all this time in your life, like you took yourself so serious, like you, like you really, really, you know, wanted to be, be perfect Patricia, you know, you wanted to, to make sure that you crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's and you wanted to make sure that you were able to make everyone, you know, feel a certain way do stretch yourself thin and you know we talked about it on day one you know pour your cup you know why let it while your cup is not even full you know your cup is like oh, halfway on e <laughs> and like almost on e and you and you giving out all your stuff in your cup when now you are letting your cup be completely full and everything else and that excess is now getting what, that's what everybody else gets. Like you're really taking yourself serious. If you plan a date for yourself, if you plan a date with someone else, your loved one, that's your plan. Like that's your that's your, that's what you're sticking to. Like you take yourself as important as you would take someone else. So for example, like if you have a job and they say, okay, you need to be here. This is a mandatory meeting. You have to be here. You're gonna call, you're gonna you're gonna find somebody to do this. You're gonna you gonna you're gonna make arrangements because you're gonna be at the place you need to be because this is what is uh, paying your bills. This is what is helping you to get to where you need to be. This is this is this is what you you do, right? So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do whatever you need to do to make that happen with all respect. Well, now when you're in that self love awakening, 
you're going to cut out, you're going to say, y'all, Yo, you want to go hang out, girl? We're going to go do this, this, and that. Oh, it sounds so fun, but you know what? I can't. Y'all go without me this time. Oh, you know, and then you you get an invitation here, or can you can you do this project, this one extra project for me here? Can you go do this? And it's not that you're being rude. It's not that you're being mean, because if you can do it, you will. However, if you have something planned for yourself, you're, you're going to move everything away. It's going to be um, a priority, even if it's to wash your hair, even if it's to polish your nails. Like, you know, I'm polishing my nails on Tuesday at uh, one o'clock. Like I'm polishing my nails. I'm polishing my hair. Like I have a date set for myself because I love myself and I'm going to start to trust myself to keep this commitment to myself. And it's just the small things. And when you begin to have that self-love awakening that God, you, you can feel the presence of God because God is now saying, love your neighbors, but first love yourself. That self-love awakening, that self-love power is what people have pushed away for so long. And what they're not telling you is about self-love is that you now suspend the beliefs that you have to put everybody else in front of you, that you have to, to be able to get by. But the that's the lie. The lie is when you start to put yourself first, others put you first too. That's the thing. When you start to do self-love, when you have that self-love awakening, you take your power back and people respect you more. That's the thing that they're not telling you. They're not telling you that you begin to take a, more attention to yourself. And when you put more attention to yourself, you can take care of your family better. You can take care of your loved ones. You can, you can really focus and concentrate. You can get back to who you are. And it's not going to happen overnight. But it will happen overnight, you know? <clears throat> and so hold up <clears throat> <clears throat> so excuse me it's not going to happen overnight overnight but it will happen overnight and so <clears throat> now you're vibing on this high level Right, and you are now in connection with the Most High. <clears throat> a little bit of cough there, but you know I'm not editing this out, right? You know I'm not. I don't even know how, but so <laughs> yeah, that's when you love yourself. You don't. You don't. You know. You excuse me, but I don't apologize. I'm not <clears throat> like cutting things out, but you know that you have so much to give and in order for you to give you have to pull back you have to start loving yourself and who you are to the very fullest that's that unconditional love <clears throat> and i'm going to go as far as to drop this one <clears throat> this one little <clears throat> it's one little nugget here when you start to love yourself more your heart begins to open up. You become more emotional, more empathetic, more compassionate for others, for people, that things that are happening in the world. And you begin to see people for who they are in a way that is loving. You begin to, um, to see what people are going through. And you, and you might even see that people may be in, 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 in a state of, in a mindset of peace and happiness and joy. And you might see people that are totally opposite, that are angry, that are set, that are, you know, always up and, you know, just angry at all times. And, and guess what? And you love them both. And like you, you just, you just look at them in a state of love. Like you still see the God in people, you know, like they, they can get on your last nerves, right? But you still have the space to see the God in them. That don't mean you got to put up with it now. Don't get it twisted, but you can still love them from across the street. You can pray for them around the corner. You can talk to them on the phone. You still have, a God love for them. And it's and it's a non-judgmental awareness stance. Even when you even when you get riled up, even when you say something that you didn't mean, 
you can pull yourself back down and you can self-regulate. And you can say, you know what, I said that the other day, I was really upset, but you know, I had a moment, but this is how I want to apologize. This is what I want to say about this. This is what I want to explain to you. And I, I want to just, you know, just circle back and, and, you know, um, just, you know, if we can just table this conversation, because I really want to be able to explain what I meant by that and how we can make this work. You're more so willing when you have so much self-love for yourself, you just want peace. Like you're all about protecting your peace. You're all about um, just the high vibration state because you no stress. Like in your life, you're not you're not worried about this, this, that. You like peace, like that's the new sexy, like peace of mind, like self-love, like care, like compassion, like on your ground, like focus, discipline. Crime. You know, like the, the good stuff, right? The, the good stuff. So that is what happened. And um, another thing, you're in partnership with God when you're self-love because you're loving yourself. You're, 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 you're loving yourself. You're saying those things that are not as though they were. You're putting, you're, you're putting yourself first. And you might even go as far as to... Uh, you know, to start seeing new beginnings in your life, new doors open, new, <clears throat> like getting downloads of information, starting to understand and see things you, to, to, you know, for, for those who are spiritual, you might be able to, to prophesy or see synchronicities and, you know, just numbers like 1111 or, you know, to just different types of signs and synchronicities that gear you to know that you are on your divine right path because when you love yourself the red carpet is laid out for you so do not if in the past if at any time from experience that you have just not cared about yourself not loved yourself and i know because i'm, I'm learning more and more about myself and i'm learning to love myself in spite of all of it in spite of all of it so I do. It doesn't matter what people have to say. It doesn't matter, you know, the the judgments of, you know, what, what people may have to say about you, because guess what? Everybody wants the same thing at the end of the day. Everybody doesn't. Everybody wants to stress less. Everybody wants to be loved. But everyone has to know that it starts with self-love. It starts with self-love. And so all of these strategies, all of these things that I've mentioned is just to take it one day at a time and just hold you hold on to the love that you have. Activate the love in your heart. Activate your heart chakra and just know that all is well. Everything is working out in your favor. Say those things that are not as though they were. And oh, I want to mention, this is a very special a very special thing that I, I wrote down. And uh, I just want to also mention too what the Bible says about self-love. The Bible says about affirmations. And if you are a person of faith, the Bible in 2 Corinthians, you know, wants us to hold fast. It says in 2 Corinthians 10, 5, to take, capt to take captive those thoughts to obey Christ. And that is then basically that is that what that is saying is to turn any of the negative thoughts that we have, the enemy, Satan, and replace those with positive things that are of the truth. Or if you're spiritual, you know, or you know, just more so on a different level and you don't, then basically like discard everything that does not serve you and replace those things with the, with the negative thought with the positive ones. So that means if you're having a negative thought, replace it with a positive affirmation. Let it go of the past. Say those things that are not as though they were. Suspend all things that are not conducive and just know that God is with you. So a perfect way to 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 say self affirmations is to always to start off with a sub, simple one, I am. And when you start off with I am, I am love, I am peace, I am healthy, I am the I or I have the mind of Christ. When we start off with simple affirmations and we just say them daily, then that helps us along the way because after I am Everything else is an attribute that just helps to uplift you in a positive way. So watch your words because everything that you say after the word I am, you tr attract and it comes into your world. So know that I am 
is powerful because you are operating in a higher vibration, in a higher mindset, and you are love, and self-love is so important, okay? I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. A quick wrap up here for the three things that they do not tell you. They're not telling you about self-love affirmations is one, the scientific reason that's proven that self-affirmations actually help you to overcome stressful situations and that it helps to turn negative situations into positive ones. Two, that when you do self-love affirmations, that when you're new to them, your logical system mind will be in a fight with your with your brain because they're all sometimes they're not ready to hear the things that you're transforming to and you cannot share your positive affirmations to everyone else when you're just growing and learning on your journey and number three what they're not telling you about self-love affirmations is that you begin to go on a self-awakening journey back to God back to your God-like self and you begin to awaken to everything about you and you see yourself in God's eyes and God's love. All right. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Get the book. You have to download the, the workbook because in there, I even have you do exercises on um, self-love affirmations and, you know, you'll do a, a love letter and just so many other things that is in some good stuff in there, y'all. So I'm just telling y'all, you got to check it out. All right. That's my time. Check me out tomorrow. We're on day three y'all we, like we're almost no we're not almost there but i hope you're enjoying this if you are could you drop one affirmation about what you're going to say to yourself every day i would really like to know all right again my name is Tisha portier i'm so thankful that you uh stopped through this is my book i'm living truth let's see here i'm living truth it's possible Recommit to you. It's all about self-love and recommitting to who you are, finding your true authentic self and living that. All right. So um, I will be dropping a link when that book is ready for you to purchase. And um, that's it. All right. Wherever you are in the world, whether it is morning, noon or night, you know, I'm a global innovator for the 21st century. So I know, I feel, I see, say, touch, taste and believe that I'm here to create. I'm here to cultivate my natural gifts and talents by first helping and healing myself, my family, and the world. So wherever you are, whether it's morning, noon, or night, I am blowing kisses to the globe. Have a beautiful day. And as always, smile. Are you smiling? Smile. All right.